Hey, what's up guys? It's James Diamond here and welcome to a tech tip video on FLC 11 here on Sonic Academy. In this episode, we're going to be looking at automation. You might be thinking automation is just automation, there's not much more you can do of it. But I'm going to show you a cool couple of techniques that hopefully speed up your workflow. So as we have here in project, I've got the main lead MIDI pattern and then we've got the kind of foundation, which is from my track echoes. So we can just hear that in the background at the same time. And then we've got three automation clips, which are from the, from the three synths that we're using. So what we're going to be aiming to do is how we're going to smooth the 0 to 100% automation curve. So if we play the track and have a listen, and we want to see when exactly the synth opens to 100% sound compared to 100% on the actual automation clip. So as we could see that the actual sound, it, it sounded fully open around the kind of 60% mark and the rest of the automation clip didn't really do much. So we want to be able to control and have a very smooth cut off automation all the way across. So the way that we do that is we first of all set our automation to 100% all the way. We then want to look into the control settings. So we double click here at the top and this brings up the channel settings for the automation clip. And we're going to be looking at these two parameters here, the minimum and the maximum. So we're going to let's just loop this section here and we're going to play the clip and we're going to move the maximum parameter until it sounds like the synth isn't doing any more. So that section where it's about 60 to 100%, we want to be able to make sure that when this is set to the right value 100% on here is 100% of the sound. So about there sounds good, about 64, 65%. So obviously everything from 64, 65 to 100% is not actually improving the sound at all. So we want to do it with the lowest setting as well. So let's bring it all the way down to the minimum. And we're gonna this is gonna set basically where the synth starts within the cutoff range. It's just a bit quiet there. Let's bring it up to about 15% to help it start off a little bit louder. So let's go ahead and do the same for the other two synths. So that's even lower, that's just over 50%. So what I'm listening out for is obviously when the sound stops being a kind of plucky sound and then becomes the big super saw kind of style. And again for the low. So about there sounds good. Now let's go ahead and do it for the final one. So even less, about 48%. We'll just pull it up a little bit there as well. So what we've done now, it means that we're starting off and we've moved the 0% on our cutoff. Now corresponds to slightly higher on the actual plugin itself. So as it's set now at 0, we can see that it's actually about 15% on the cutoff. And then when we come to 100%, it's about 60, I think it was 64, 65%. So we're using the, the perfect range within the cutoff. And what this means is that we then don't obviously have to set these as we looked at in the start. You don't have to set it to 65%. You know, this one was about 50 and that one was even a bit lower. We don't have to continuously go through and kind of uh, adjust these. And imagine if you've got 55, you know, automation clips. I'm having to do that for every single one. It gets a bit tiresome. Being able to quickly push it up all the way up to the top makes it a lot easier. So if we just have a listen to that and see how it affects the sound. 
So as you could hear, it was much more of a smooth curve that the pluck sound kind of turned into the super source sound pretty much around at the very top. So it's just a nice little way that you can hopefully speed up your workflow. One more final thing that I'm going to quickly show you is how to copy and paste automation, automation settings across your entire automation clip. So it can be a pain if you've set all of these kind of automation points and you want to be able to copy it down into these sections, into these other clips, but you don't want to have to do it manually because that can be a bit time consuming. So what we can do is we can go into our automation settings again, but this time we're going to go along to the far left at this kind of squiggly line. We're going to click on there, then we're going to go to channel settings, and then we're going to go to articulator, and we're going to hit copy state. And then we're going to paste that down Articulator, paste state. And there we go, it's copied the exact automation setting from the top one into the second one. And paste state again. So now let's just have a quick listen. <laughs> So there you go, as you can hear, it was perfectly kind of uniformed sound, the automation settings on each synth worked perfectly with each other and there was no need to kind of mess about. And we've got our minimum and our maximum settings set perfectly, so it makes it a lot easier when going throughout the project. So there you go, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.